Obama will freak when he hears what Trump did for anti-gay marriage Air Force Colonel. Barack Obama will freak out when he hears what President Donald Trump's administration just did for an anti-gay marriage Christian Air Force Colonel who was removed from command after refusing to publicly recognize the same-sex spouse of a retiring subordinate. No POTUS did more to destroy our nation's Christian heritage than Barack Obama, and the toxic level of hatred for conservatives in the military was unbelievable under his administration. Although Obama left office at the beginning of 2017, his progressive foot soldiers continued his destructive policies in our military until Trump put a stop to it. Now, a new sheriff is in town, and he doesn't like it when the formerly politicized Pentagon picks on Christians in the military. According to Fox News, the Air Force reversed a previous decision to punish a highly decorated and revered colonel after he refused to sign a certificate of spouse appreciation for a retiring master sergeant's same-sex spouse. In addition to being removed from command in May 2017, orders were handed down recommending that Colonel Leland Bahana not be promoted to the rank of general as a retaliation for his conservative Christian values. According to Military.com. Bahanan was the commander of the Air Force Inspection Agency headquartered at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico at the time of his dismissal. The Air Force decided to relieve Bahanan of command after an equal opportunity investigator decided that he had discriminated against the master sergeant who wanted the certificate for his same-sex spouse. The certificate being requested by the retiring master sergeant is not legally required to be given and is not an official document. Bahanan refused to sign the document because it conflicted with his religious beliefs. However, to accommodate the airman, he had a two-star general sign the certificate, according to First Liberate Institute, which is one of the nation's most prominent religious liberty law firms. Bahanan's firing caught the attention of eight U.S. senators who wrote a strongly worded letter to the Air Force which said in part, Colonel Bahanan has suffered severely on account of the EO investigators' mishandling of his religious liberty rights, the Air Force owes it to him to see that justice is restored, along with his good name. Leave it to the liberal morons that Obama saturated our military with to persecute a conservative because of his, her religious beliefs. For the idiots that decided Bahanan needed to be relieved of command. It didn't matter that he had flown combat missions in the Middle East and is the recipient of the Bronze Star, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, and the Air Medal. They only cared about peddling Obama's legacy, hate for Christian values. On Monday, April 2, 2018, Trump's Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson announced that the director of the Air Force Review Board's agency reversed the previous ruling and Bahanan's record will be corrected to show that he did not unlawfully discriminate against the Master Sergeant. The director concluded that Colonel Bahanan had the right to exercise his sincerely held religious beliefs and did not unlawfully discriminate when he declined to sign the Certificate of Appreciation for the Same-Sex Spouse of an Airman in his command. Secretary Wilson wrote in a letter to Rep. Vicki Hartzler, our Mo. In addition, Secretary Wilson emphasized that Bahanan did his duty to the Master Sergeant by having a more senior officer sign the requested certificate. After the announcement on Monday, Hiram Sasser, General Counsel for First Liberty, said he was pleased with the Air Force's decision. This is clear evidence that the Trump administration is helping to right the ship at the Pentagon, Sasser said. However, we must remember that at every level of the government there are bureaucrats who actively resist President Trump's efforts to preserve and protect religious freedom. I could not agree more with Sasser. Trump is delivering on his promise to stop the attacks on Judeo-Christian values. After eight years of persecution at the hands of Obama, a ruling like the one in Bahanan's case is truly a breath of fresh air. In my opinion. Trump should advise Secretary Wilson to make an example out of whoever handed down the order to relieve Bahanan of his command. command.